In 1907, the Caribbean island of Martinique believed the worst was behind them. Just five years earlier, the eruption of Mount Pelee had destroyed the city of Saint-Pierre. But people returned, they rebuilt, life moved forward, and many convinced themselves that the volcano was finished. But nature does not forget. In early 1907, signs began to return. Small earthquakes, gas emissions, strange clouds rising from the crater. To those who remembered 1902, these were alarms. To others, they were simply the volcano's breath, nothing more. On the morning of the eruption, the sound came first. Low, thunderous, ancient. Then the sky opened. Ash rose into the atmosphere, darkening daylight. The air grew heavy, hot, and dry. People watched from their windows, uncertain whether to run or to pray. What came next was not lava, but something far worse, an avalanche of fire. A pyroclastic surge, hotter than any flame, faster than the wind. It did not burn, it erased. Entire neighborhoods vanished in seconds. The eruption of 1907 became the deadliest volcanic event in Caribbean history. Today, Martinique stands peaceful once more, but the memory of Pelé remains, carried in stories and silence. It is a reminder that beauty and destruction can share the same horizon, and that nature, in its quietest moments, is still speaking.